Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Cities are complex systems that rely on economic, social, and environmental factors to thrive. A well-functioning infrastructure, including everything from roads and bridges to water and sewer systems, is essential for the development of a city. Less known operations work behind the scenes to ensure that cities function smoothly and efficiently include wastewater treatment, street cleaning, and energy infrastructure. Part of a city's infrastructure includes manholes, which are openings that provide access to underground public utilities. Traditional methods of replacing manholes were labor-intensive and involved significant excavation and disruption to surrounding areas. A large area around the manhole would be excavated to expose the entire structure and the surrounding pipes. This involved heavy machinery and could disrupt traffic and access to nearby businesses and residences. Currently, technological advancements have led to more efficient and less disruptive methods of replacing manholes. Pre-cast manholes, manufactured to specific dimensions and specifications, are transported to the replacement site. Using the pre-cast and a plastic liner makes the outer on-site concrete pouring more efficient and quicker. Tools, such as a skid steer, and cutter attachments allow the operation to be made with just two to four people. Components, such as bentonite and urethane strips are used to create a watertight seal and facilitate adherence to another liner. Asphalt sealants are used to seal the interface between the repaired manhole and the existing asphalt surface. The poured asphalt is heated to a specific temperature typically between 275 and 325 degrees Fahrenheit to ensure proper workability and adhesion. Compaction uses a roller or vibrating compactor to achieve the desired density and prevent future settlement or cracking. Grading and application of a primer enhance the adhesion of the material around the manhole. Vibration machines level the hot asphalt with its surrounding road, ensuring a smooth, durable, and long-lasting surface. The asphalt is allowed to cure and harden, taking advantage of the heat 
and force of compacting machines to promote evaporation and speed curing. Modern technology is rapidly evolving and transforming urban operations, improving efficiency, sustainability, and the overall quality of life for city residents. Advanced tools offer enhanced efficiency, improving the quality and speed of infrastructure repairs and maintenance. A clear example is using fully equipped trucks and manhole replacement operations, providing a mobile platform, providing the necessary equipment for the job site. Slip form pavers are specialized construction equipment used to create concrete curbs and gutters. These machines play a crucial role in urban infrastructure development, ensuring the smooth flow of traffic and pedestrian safety. They need a constant supply of concrete. Therefore, concrete mixer trucks work alongside the pavers. Slip-form machines, like the Power Kerber 5700D, feature front-track steering, which simplifies turning maneuvers and enhances maneuverability in tight spaces. 5700D machine, it's a brand new uh, D-series machine for Power Kerber. It is an awesome machine. We use Stringline. It is uh, GPS uh, compatible. Basically how the Power Kerber machine works, uh, the first step is setting up the string line. You go off the stakes and you go by the offset. If it's a three foot offset, five foot offset, you just put your pin in the right location and get the grade off the hub or the stake. After that, you set up the curb machine by putting it on the string line and it goes off of a front sensor and a rear sensor, which is your grade. And then it has two middle sensors that control the steering. Uncollected waste creates unsanitary conditions, attracting insects and rodents that can transmit diseases. This can lead to increased health risks. Waste is collected from various sources, either private or public areas, using specialized vehicles equipped with bins or containers. Incoming waste vehicles are weighed to track the total amount of waste being processed. The waste is piled up using a grappling claw system to handle various tons of material. Sensors and monitoring systems are used to continuously track and optimize various aspects of the waste processing operations. Data is collected on waste composition, recycling rates, energy production, and environmental performance. When we incinerate waste, we produce District heat and electricity, but we get some byproducts as well. You get bottom ash, what's left after the incineration in forms of glass, stones, ceramics, and metals. We even recycle the bottom ash. But you also get flying ash, and flying ash today can't be recycled 
uh, more than you can mix it with other kinds of substances, turn it into concrete uh, similar material, using it for restoring old mines and such. But we're looking into several serious projects now about how to even recycle the flying ash. Inert materials remained essentially unchanged during the incineration process, meaning they do not react with other substances. Metals, after incineration, can be recovered and recycled, providing valuable resources. Waste management, road repairs, and other essential services are often taken for granted, with its working people going unnoticed. Despite the challenges they face, the people who work in urban operations are essential to the well-being of our cities and deserve our respect and gratitude. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.